Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of VGC Prep. Um, so, not really much to say. You know, I just had a real quick question for you guys. What is your favorite part about Pokemon? Um, you know, I was just trying to think of a question of the day. And, you know, sometimes that's kind of hard. It's probably the hardest part of getting the video ready. Because, you know, I have to think of what, have I, ha what haven't I asked before? What can I ask that would initiate some sort of actual response? Because uh, I know there's some questions that are hit or miss. Um, so, you know, I figured, why not this part? You know, I've, I've asked, you know, what's your favorite Pokemon? What's your favorite play style? But what is it that uh, gets you? For me, I really like team building. Um, that's probably my favorite part. Um, I don't like the story very much. Uh, I think it's kind of bland. Um, the story mode just isn't really what draws me in. It's the competitive aspect and this, the uh, building the teams. I really enjoy building teams. Uh, that's probably what I do the most with Pokemon. Um, probably is what I spend the most time with. Uh, it's definitely, I, I don't know why I like it. I guess I just like the challenge of trying to figure out something on paper and seeing how well, you know, like, okay, so can I do this? What about this? How about that? And I, I just love that aspect of it. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, that's just what I look at it. I mean, if you could see what I'm looking at right now, you'd probably agree with me that that's my favorite part. You know, like I've been mentioning for these past couple episodes, I have these massive, massive data charts for all my teammates, you know? Um, I just enjoy doing it, even though it's just a huge time sink. I just really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, so let's move on to the actual battles. Uh, so it looks like we've got Bisharp, Sylveon, Kangaskhan, Breloom, Gyarados, and Rotom Heat. Now, he has two potential Megas in the Kangaskhan and Gyarados, but you tend to not see Mega Gyarados, so I'm going to assume it's Mega Kangaskhan. Um, Gyarados has utility outside of Mega, whereas Kangaskhan's kind of eh, not really useful outside of Mega. Um, maybe if this was a different generation, but it's not, so... Kangaskhan's not really that great. Um, you know, I'm looking at this, you know, you've got the Bisharp, which could be pretty threatening, um, especially if I don't handle it well, and, and if, I, if I have Ferrothorn, you know, I, I can handle it pretty well, and Ferrothorn will come in pretty handy here, um, you know, specifically for the Bisharp, Kangaskhan, and uh, Gyarados. Lesser to the Breloom, um, but we can take Breloom, I'm pretty sure. We have plenty of time to check this out. Uh, Breloom, 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 Breloom. Yeah, we can definitely take a Breloom. Uh, even if it's Choice Bandit, as long as it's not running Sky Uppercut, but I don't have that on my data sheet because they tend to run Mach Punch. Um, I'm thinking our best lead would be Cresselia and Altaria. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cresselia Crisel and Altaria. We're definitely gonna want Ferrothorn. And um, I'm thinking we might want Venusaur as well. Uh, Venusaur will give us some good options. Uh, in the future. So I'm going to bring Venusaur as well, and while it is my double Mega, it doesn't need a Mega all the time. Um, the only other real item that I like running on, on regular Venusaur is um, Koba Berry, because there's a spread that I have, which I think I unfortunately lost, uh, that lets it beat Talonflame 1v1. Um, so, I'm a little unfortunate. Uh, so in comes Sylveon, and Sylveon does kind of threaten me. Um... I obviously don't really want to go for Trick Room here. Um, let's see, Sylveon. Sylveon is a threat to my team. That is something that I have always known. And because of the, the Rotom Heat, I can't really safely switch into my Ferrothorn. So I want to look up this Sylveon real quick. It only needs a Life Orb. And I don't have a switch into it. Well, I do have Venusaur. I don't have the Mega Altaria right away. But if I don't Mega Altaria, it'd be kind of worthless to bring in. Hmm. I'm going to try something. I'm going to Helping Hand boost the Altaria, and we're going to Mega Evolve and go for Hyper Voice. If this thing isn't Life Orb, we will survive a Hyper Voice. If it is Life Orb, we just lost our Altaria. And that's... I'm willing to risk that right now. Because I don't know. We'll outspeed it most likely goes for overheat avoids the attack not bad okay we don't outspeed it that's unfortunate is it life orb is it life orb please tell me right now so I can find out no 
but I would assume that since you did KO me, that you are indeed choice specs. So, I bring in Venusaur. And Venusaur, I mean, I'm pretty much, pretty much dead here, unfortunately. Venusaur doesn't really want to take an overheat without Mega Evolving, and unfortunately we didn't get that, we did get Mega Evolving off. Um, so I'm going to go for Trick Room, and Sylveon's probably going to switch out, and I want to say that Rotom is probably going to be Safety Goggles. So I'm just going to Sludge Bomb the Rotom. So the Sylveon does switch out. I was right there. Um, that's good. Into the Bisharp. So that that's that was a good play on my part, if I do say so myself. Uh, and out comes the Overheat on the Venusaur. I don't think we're going to survive this. We yeah, we we made a pretty bad play there. That, that's very unfortunate. Um, like like I said, my team is very Sylveon weak, and um, I would have brought in Ferrothorn there, but uh, unfortunately. With the Rotom out on the field, we couldn't really afford that. Uh, and even at negative two, this Rotom will just rip through Ferrothorn. Uh, so there's really nothing we can do to come back from here. Um, I have nothing for the Bisharp, really. I mean, I could loot seed it, uh, and that's probably going to be the best thing I can do. So I'm going to Psychic the Rotom, and I'm going to leech seed the uh, Rotom. We want to get rid of the Rotom. Um, he avoids the attack. I. I it matters, but it doesn't at the same time, if you understand what I'm saying. Because uh, this overheat will take us out regardless. Um, so it's not like... Oh, well, we did survive. Um, I wasn't expecting that, actually, uh, to be quite honest with you. I was not expecting that. Um, I was expecting Cresselia to go down this turn. Uh, so, looks like... Yeah, that, that's not good. Um, my only real option here is to Leech Seed and hope he misses. Um, and hope the Bisharp can't really do anything to us. Uh, he does go for Sucker Punch, so that's good. Uh, so now if we can just bank on a miss, which he won't do. Yeah, no. That was a really poorly played battle, and I am I'm very apologetic for that. Uh, very <laughs> unfortunate. Um, definitely been playing better for the past couple episodes, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll come back with this next battle. I promise you guys. Um, that was just a really bad lead for us. Um, and in general, Sylveon does kind of hurt us pretty hard. Um, that's one of the downfalls of this team. And Sylveon is definitely one of the most used Pokemon right now. So that is an issue that I will have to at some point address. But uh, for now... We'll just have to play with what we got, you know. Venusaur and Ferrothorn do have options. Do have options. Um, and as long as the Sylveon is not choice specs, we can beat it. But, unfortunately, that Sylveon was choice specs, and that is why we lost. Not really, I mean... Well, yeah, actually, no, Sylveon was definitely one of the major players, because um, if we beat Sylveon with the uh, Altaria, we probably could have come back. Uh, but let's let's move on to the next battle. It looks like we've got another Sylveon um, coupled with Landorus, Bisharp, Metagross, Thunderous, Hydreigon, and Sylveon of course. Um, so how about we do this? I don't see Altaria being super useful. He's got two Steel types and a another Pokemon that can hit us very hard with their moves and that's Sylveon. So why don't we start off, why don't we just use Mega Venusaur instead and Cresselia. Now what we'll do outside of that is I believe we'll want to bring Tyranitar. Tyranitar will give us a good edge against the Hydreigon which we would be missing if we don't have the Mega Altaria. And um, Ferrothorn is going to be very crucial in beating that Bisharp and if that is not, if that is a Mega Metagross which considering there's no other potential Megas, um, we'll need that as well. So, we have to hope that this Metagross does not have Hammer Arm, because that will give us a problem. Two hit KOs Ferrothorn with Hammer Arms, so... We have to hope. We have to hope. Have to hope. So, it's gonna be Mega, 
and it actually starts off with Metagross and Bisharp, so that's kind of fine by me. Um, my only, my only qualm, and there is a qualm, is the fact that my Venusaur does not have HP Fire, and I think that's something I have to do right off the bat after this battle. Um, so I'm gonna go for Trick Room. I kind of should switch out here, and I'm gonna switch out into Ferrothorn. Um, if it had HP Fire, I'd probably go for the Metagross first. Uh, but Zen Headbutt actually does scare me off pretty hard. Um, Venusaur is not good for checking Metagross, because it does... Regular Metagross, I think, KOs us. I have to check that, but I'm pretty sure it does. And it's going to be Mega, as I had thought. There's really... Ooh, excuse me. There's really no, um... No question about it. Uh, but hopefully it does go for Zen Headbutt, so this will t it will take a bunch of damage from that, and it won't do very much f to us. Uh, so that's good so far. Now the Bishop's probably going to go for uh, Knock Off onto the uh, Cresselia. No, it's actually going to go for Iron Head, doubling into the Pharaoh Thorn. Very, very interesting play, if I do say so myself. Um, probably saw the threat in Venusaur and wanted to take it out, but he has a 31% chance of taking me out with Zen Headbutt regardless, so yeah, I guess just ensuring that KO is pretty important. Um, so Garibald's not going to do very much to Mega Metagross. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Moonblast the Bisharp, we're just going to get some damage on that, and I'm going to Leech Seed the Metagross. Now, I probably should have gone- OH COME ON! Second time in this episode. The next, the thing I was going to say is I probably should have gone for Worry Seed. Well, that does a good chunk to Bisharp, actually. Crit. What? That should not have taken me out. That should not have taken me out. Did I miss something in my calcs? I might have missed something in my calcs. Um, that's not good. I am pretty certain that... Wait, did I have damage already? No, I didn't have damage. Why did that do so much? Why did that do so much? Hmm. Well, my only real choice right now is to bring in Tyranitar. That kind of puts me in a position... Well, I can... I could, um... I can Garibald the Bisharp. Why did that do so much? I only have seven Pokemon that can one-shot me. And he's clearly not banded. And I didn't have damage. I am thoroughly confused. Uh, so I'm going to Garibald the Bisharp just to take it out. Um, he's actually going to protect. Not a big deal. Um, not a big deal. Um, oh, double protect. Kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. Uh, we'll get the crunch off. He might go switch into Landorus here. I don't want to risk it, though. I do want to take out the Metagross. Uh, so I'm going to crunch, and plus with the extra damage, I will be able to, even at negative one, take out the Landorus with Ice Punch. So not a big deal, and it can't take me out with Earthquake. Um, so overall, if he makes that play, that's not a big deal. But that knockoff really did confuse me. It really did. Although, oh no, he goes into Hydreigon. That's just as fine. Just as fine. Um, he does go for Sucker Punch onto the Ferrothorn. Oh, come on, really? That took me out? Not bad, not bad. Um, that puts me in a bad position. I mean, I do still have Venusaur, who I haven't mega yet. Um, we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, Crunch might actually do some decent amount of damage. It has in the past. No, this one is a bulkier variant. Um, there has been times where Crunch has been a 2 hit KO on Hydreigon because they decided not to uh, invest in any sort of bulk, um, which I found very odd. So in comes Sylveon, that is a beautiful switch in for me. We still have Trick Room up, so I'm going to go for the Ice Punch on the Hydreigon, I'm going to Mega Evolve here, and I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb, and that should be good enough for the Sylveon. Uh, he does still have the Metagross in the back, so we're kind of in a bit of a pickle, um, unless I can play my cards right. So him saving the uh, the Metagross was a very good play, but let's see how well we can do this. Judging by the damage that Ice Punch did, we might be able to take out the Hydreigon here. Um, and he's not going to protect with the Sylveon, so maybe. 
Oh, we didn't, but the sand will probably take him out. He goes for Hyper Beam and misses! Oh my lord, that was lucky. Hello, luck. Um, and he goes for Fire Blast, but now we're Mega, so we should take that even if he specs. Um, and we do. Sylveon's buffeted. That was interesting. Um, hmm. Oh, that doesn't take that. Actually, actually, that's still pretty good for us. Um, I'm gonna go for rocks. No, no, no. I'm gonna go for crunch onto the Hydreigon. I'm gonna go for sludge bomb onto the Sylveon because we do outspeed the Sylveon. He could switch out. No, he's not gonna switch out. Okay, good. So if we can take both of these guys out here, we will be in a pretty solid position. Um, and I'm trying to think. Tyranitar, Tyranitar, Tyranitar. Where's Mega Metagross? What do you... Does Mega... Mega Metagross can't beat us with Bullet Punch. Um, oh, here's the question. Here's the question. Do I... Well... Venusaur can't do very much to him, and he knows that, and he has seen that I have Crunch, so I'm going to make a guess. Meteor Mash is a one-hit KO. I'm going to make a guess. He's going to go for the Tyranitar, because Venusaur doesn't threaten him, and while I shouldn't have Sleep Powder, I'm going to go for Sleep Powder, and I'm really hoping I made the right play there. Yes. Don't miss. I don't miss. Oh, thank God. Thank the heavens. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. I was so concerned if I would predict that right or not. But the way I was looking at it, you know, Venusaur can't really do diddly to a Metagross. And he's going to stay asleep, so we should KO him now. I went for Leaf Storm and Crunch. Um, Leaf Storm is just my strongest move that I have. <laughs> oh my lord! I was about to say, if that takes this out, what was I doing with the sleep? I could have just doubled into it. That would have... that would not have seen that coming. Oh, but thank god, we did come back from the last battle. Oh, and we even faced down two Pokemon that are on our complete, lit, complete threat list on the same team. Very proud of that battle, because we do really have nothing for Met Metagross and Sylveon currently. Um... <laughs> Woo! Yeah, our threat list is Sylveon, Charizard Y, Mega Mawile, Mega Met Metagross, and Smeargle, but solely because of Dark Void, because we don't really have any good sleep absorbers. Um, and each one of them, there are chances that we can beat them, except for Smeargle. There's really nothing we can do against Smeargle if, cause if it gets the sleep off. But, um, you know, Sylveon... Um, we can check it with Venusaur and Ferrothorn. Um, it has to have specs to threaten both of those. Um, you know, uh, and it has to have Psy Shock for Venusaur, and it has to have HP Fire for Ferrothorn. Um, and judging on the damage that that would do, we would be able to figure out, you know, okay, so this thing is specs. Um, if we don't have Trick Room up, as you saw, Venusaur does beat Sylveon. Um, and, um, if we do have trick room up we could probably beat Sylveon somewhat easily uh, Zard Y is actually probably one of the harder ones to beat on this team um, we have Altaria and um, we do have Tyranitar um, Overheat is Zard's only choice against Altaria and that two hit KO so if we can play around that that would be pretty solid um, and Without Sun, Charizard cannot beat Tyranitar, um, but you have to assume that the Sun will be up with it, so that, that's kind of a trickier sort of way to play around. Uh, Mawile can be beaten by Ferrothorn, but only if it doesn't have Fire Fang, um, and if we have Cresselia and Venusaur out on the same field, same, same time, I can beat it with um, uh, Hidden Power Fire, so I, need, I really do need to get that in. Uh, Meta Metagross, the only possible thing that we can have for that is Ferrothorn, and they do tend to carry Hammer Arms, so that's probably the biggest threat to my team right now. Uh, so yeah, you know, I don't know. I like this team a lot. I've played, I've, I've put a lot of work into this team, and I think it's solid enough for tournaments. 
but I don't know. I need to play with the HP fire. I need to play with um, some of the changes I made. I need to have Dra Draco Meteor on this Altaria because without it, it doesn't hit as hard. You know, the neutrals. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Peace.